Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Yesterday we arrived to the city of Sucre here in Bolivia. We arrived here actually by taxi. Yes, you heard correct. We took a taxi from Potosi and it only costed us 50 Bolivianos, which is kind of crazy. Back in Europe, if you would take a taxi from one city to another, it would be much, much more expensive. But yeah, here we got a taxi from door to door. So we couldn't say no to that deal. So that was quite perfect. So as said, we arrived here yesterday, but yesterday we didn't honestly do much. We we walked around a little bit, mostly we just relaxed and I decided to have a bit of a break day from filming as on this trip I'm filming almost every single day, but today we're back with it and today we're actually gonna explore Sucre. So here in Bolivia there's a bit of a weird system, there's basically two capitals, there's La Paz and then there's Sucre, so this is the second capital basically. And this is also apparently a very popular place where people come to take Spanish lessons. We're not gonna do that this time because then you would have to stay here for a week. It does sound fun and interesting and I would love to learn Spanish more, but yeah, it's not really on our cards now to stay here for a week, unfortunately. So you just gotta continue learning independently instead. Today we're gonna explore the city. It looks really beautiful. It is known as the white city because most of the buildings here are white. And I do feel like the city feels much more Western than the other places we've been to in Bolivia. It feels feels very European. It kind of feels like we're somewhere in Spain, which is a bit weird, but yeah, it does seem like a really beautiful city and I can't wait to explore it more today. I hope you guys will enjoy tagging along, exploring Sucre with us. Here's a little tour of our hostel. I think it's very nice, although I do find some of the art a little bit weird for my taste. But anyway, this is the garden where they serve breakfast every morning, which I think is lovely. This is our room, it's very spacious and has a private bathroom. We decided to visit the Cathedral Museum, but to be honest, we were maybe a little bit disappointed in it. It was quite pricey for Bolivian standards and you weren't allowed to film or take pictures in most of the parts. If you would have wanted to visit the Mirador, you would have had to pay even more. But instead of paying for the viewpoint, we decided to visit a cafe that also has an amazing view over the city. like cafe called Cafe Mirador and from here you basically have a view over the whole city and it's really pretty and you have to walk a lot of steps to get up here but the view is definitely worth it just ordered myself a fresh pineapple juice I've been drinking a lot of these during this trip it's, it's just so good yum have now come to a neighborhood known as Recoleta, I think. It's supposed to be very beautiful, but in order to get there, there is a lot of uphill walking. <laughs> We've now come to a place for some lunch, a little cafe with the most beautiful view over the city. Let me show you. I went for something quite basic. I got a cheese and tomato panini with some cola. But Rul got a local soup. What was it called? Menudito. Menudito. I think it's gonna be a bit spicy and uh, yeah, a bunch of little things to add on to it. Looks good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? No. No? Salty. Oh. 
My meal really looks like a children's meal compared to yours. <laughs> oh well. have now come for some dinner and we came to this really cute little local place that had some great reviews and the prices are also really great <laughs> so yeah I'm excited to try out the food and the owner here seems really friendly and stuff and uh, yeah I don't know what more to say but I'm hungry and excited to eat soon <laughs> for a starter I ordered this tomato soup and oh my goodness it is so good mmm I read in the reviews that they recommended to try the soups. I recommend that too. Really good. Wow, it's really, really good. Well, that dinner was amazing. Definitely recommend if you're ever in Sucre. Now, for the rest of the evening, we're just gonna relax. And then tomorrow, we are going to see dinosaur fossils or dinosaur footprint fossils. To get to the dino park, we decided to use the dino bus, which is definitely the easiest option. It leaves from the main square several times during the day, but if you want to do the tour to see the dinosaur footprints up close, you better take the bus that leaves at 11 or 12 o'clock. We have arrived and now we need to figure out how to do the footprint tour. Yeah, it's really beautiful with the mountain views. We are now in the dino park and firstly we're gonna do the tour. So as said, they do the tour twice a day at 12 and 1 o'clock. And yeah, it is included in the price. So I definitely recommend coming here so that you can get your money's worth. The tour has begun. Look over there please, everyone. In 1949, one year of the earthquake, and 1949, remember this. Yeah. On the right side, you have the Abelisaurus, seven meters long. We have received a helmet and we're gonna see the footprints up close. In 1959, they started mining and they stopped the excavation on the lanes before because they discovered a high content of magnesium. The magnesium makes the limestone useless for the concrete. You can see. So these are the four groups that we discovered and all of these footprints belong to the Cretaceous period, the last period of the dinosaur, 68 million years ago. So All the way down here belongs to Ecalorcosauripodos. So that means that this dinosaur was coming to the lake. Uh, you can see here the back leg and the front leg. The back leg and the front leg. So he, he was leaving the lake uh, in a hurry as well. You can see the distance here between the steps. The small Titanosaurus was leaving also the lake. So yeah, basically this wall is full of different kind of dinosaur footprints and you have to wear a helmet because apparently a lot of rocks and stuff fall down from the cliff. What we understood is that this cliff is very fragile. As you can see, it is full of little cracks and yeah, eventually, most likely, it's gonna come down. Never did I think that I would get this close to actual dinosaur footprints. And I'm sorry, it's a bit windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. If you decide to visit this dino park, I definitely recommend coming so that you can do the tour. Because if you don't do the tour, you can only see the footprints from afar, from up there. And yeah, you don't get to learn anything the same way. So definitely do the tour because it's the same price anyway. We have 
have reached the top and I decided to reward myself with this ice cream. Let's try it out. Looks like this, it's called a Rocky, a Rocky Kodo. Mm. Pretty good. It's all falling down. My hand compared to a dinosaur footprint. We are now on the bus and soon we'll be heading towards La Paz. Finding the right bus was a very stressful experience. Uh, we first went to the wrong bus and the guy working at the bus looked at my ticket and said yes it's the right bus and so we go to where our seats are supposed to be but someone was already sitting at our seats and we were like hmm what is this but then those people sitting on that seat started looking at our ticket they're like no this is not the right bus and we're like oh <laughs> I don't get how someone working for the bus company can't know if it's the right bus or not but oh well luckily we were able to make it to this one uh, we were looking at the time and it was only one minute before departure but then again we haven't departed yet it is raining a lot so I think everything is a bit delayed because of it and everything is not as organized because of it for example we weren't able to put our bags downstairs luckily we were able to fit them in the overhead locker but I must say this is the bougiest bus I have ever been on the seats recline fully there's a lot of leg space and we even have our own little TV screens so this bus that we are right now on was a bit more of an expensive bus because this is the Kama bus or Kama seat bus which means that you have a very big and like luxurious seat that we have right now it costed us 180 bolivianos but then again we don't need to pay for accommodation tonight and maybe because we paid for better seats we're actually able to sleep tonight this bus ride is supposed to take 11 hours so I hope we'll be able to get some good sleep and yeah I'm gonna end this video here and then I'll start a new video in La Paz so I hope you have enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye